story today is cats. Cats are hunting animals. They use claws and teeth to seize their prey. And when you watch a cat play with a ball or a piece of yarn, it's almost like watching a tiger or a leopard stalking its prey in the wild. Even well-fed pet cats try to catch mice or birds or even insects. Cats are great fun to watch. They make good pets, but they do not all act like dogs. Dogs are noisy, friendly, and lively. Cats are quiet. They may disappear for hours without you being able to find them, but cats can also be friendly and will sit on your lap purring contently while you stroke their fur. Learning about cats can help you select your pet cat and help you to take better care of it. More than a hundred thousand years ago, wild cats were domesticated for the first time. About 5,000 years ago, cats were used in Egypt to protect stored grain from mice and other rodents. Early Egyptians considered cats sacred animals, and when a cat died, there was a period of mourning. When the cat was mummified and buried in a casket in a cat cemetery, in one ancient Egyptian cemetery, there was more than 300,000 cat mummies. From Egypt, pet cats began to spread across Asia and Europe. In Siam, it's called Thailand today, only the king and royal family owned cats. The Siamese cat was the royal cat of Siam, and by the Middle Ages, cats had become very popular in France and England. In the 1600s, they came to Americas with the colonies, and nowadays, pet cats live with people in countries all around the world. Cats are not very big. Adult cats usually weigh between 6 and 15 pounds. Cats have slim and flexible bodies. They can twist their bodies in amazing ways. The bones in a cat's back are much more loosely connected than the bones in your back. This makes the cat's body very bendable. Cats are great climbers and jumpers. They also use their tails for balance. When a cat jumps, its body uncoils like a spring. A cat absorbs the landing shock easily with its front legs and the cushion pads on its front paws. When a cat falls several feet, it twists its body in midair and lands on all fours, usually without even hurting itself. This may be why they say cats have nine lives. Some people think that cats can see in the dark. And while cats do have excellent vision, but even they can't see in total darkness. They can see light that is only a sixth as bright as the human light can see, so they can see better than we can. Cats have special mirror-like surfaces in the back of their eyes called a tapertum. Faint light passes through the eye and then is reflected by the tapetium back out of the eye. And then reflected light is what makes the cat's eyes gleam in the dark. It also helps them see in very low light. Cats can see in color, but that doesn't mean much to an animal that hunts at night. Color plays no part in hunting a mouse in dim light or in deciding to nuzzle against your leg or your shirt, if it's a red one or a blue one. Cats also have a good sense of hearing. They can hear sounds that are too soft or too high-pitched for humans to hear. A cat turns its ears very quickly to locate the direction of the sound. Hearing helps cats hunt for mice and other little animals when they move about. A cat's whiskers are very sensitive to the touch. Cats have whiskers on the chin, over the eyes, and on the back of their front legs. And it's not just on the upper lip. In the dark, whiskers help a cat sense objects that it cannot see. But it is not true that the cat's facial whiskers are exactly equal to the width of the body. The smell is another important sense in cats. Cats often will not eat food that has turned stale because of its bad odor. Cats have been about 19 million smelling nerve endings in their noses. Humans only have about 5 million. Cats love the smell of a plant called catnip. They sometimes roll around in catnip making happy noises. Cats are fussy eaters. 
Dogs will eat almost anything you give them off the table. But cats, they're much pickier. They don't have a sweet tooth, and they won't eat cookies or candy. That's only for dogs, even though dogs shouldn't have cookies or candy. If you have a pet cat, you may have tried to train it not to scratch the furniture. You may have even tried to teach your cat to bring you a, not to bring you a dead mouse into the house. But a cat doesn't seem to learn these lessons. The cat just simply doesn't want to learn these household rules. That doesn't mean it's stupid or it has poor memory. No, neither of those are true, actually. Cats learn and remember those things are useful to them, but not necessarily useful to you. It quickly remembers the location of food and water dishes in the litter box. A cat even seems to remember its own name at mealtime when it is called. Cats remember things in their neighborhoods that they want to avoid, like pesky dogs. They even may remember where they were taken live. They may even remember where they live if taken away from their home. But only with skillful training will a cat remember what you want it to remember. Cats can't talk using words the way people do, but cats make sounds that tell you or other cats how they're feeling or what they want. Cats purr, gurgle, meow, wail, hiss, screech, and even growl. Each of these sounds means something different. Purring usually means everything is fine. Kittens purr to their mothers, and mothers purr to their kittens. Adult cats purr to each other when they are peaceful. Cats purr when you pet them. Gurgling is another happy sound that cats make. Sometimes a cat will gurgle or meow for minutes in a cat, kind of a cat chat with another cat. A kitten meows if it's cold or is lost or wants to be fed. Adult cats meow if they are hungry or unhappy about something. Hissing, screeching, and growling. These are all angry noises. The awful screech a tomcat makes at night is a cry of warning to other com tomcats in the area to keep away from a female cat. Cats also use body language to show you what they're feeling. When a cat rubs itself against your legs or against another cat, it is happy and affectionate. If a cat points its ears forward, it signals friendly interest and watchfulness. An angry cat raises its ears and points them backwards, narrows his eye slits, and pushes his whiskers forward. A, hat, a cat that is hunting or playing opens his eyes wide, perks up his ears, bristles his whiskers. And when a cat is petted and happy, it partly closes its eyes and relaxes its body and whiskers. When a cat arches it back, flattens its ears, and shows you its teeth, the cat is afraid and defenseless. If a cat is frightened, its hair stands up all over its body, all the way down its tail. If it's about to pounce or attack, the hair stands up along the spine and the tail. The tail whips from side to side, or suddenly even stands up. There are many different ways that a cat talks. Watch your cat carefully and you will soon be able to figure out what each sound and body movement means. By the time they are one year old, a female cat can have babies. And after mating with a male cat, a mother cat will give birth to a litter of kittens about 65 days later. A litter can contain as many as a dozen kittens, although the average is only four. Kittens are usually born about five minutes to two hours apart. A kitten is born in a cloudy white sack filled with fluid. The mother licks each newborn kitten, breaks the sack, removes the fluid from its face. The licking makes the cat start to breathe. The mother also bites through the umbilical cord, the cord that carries food to the fetus, and took away its waste when it was inside the mother. Even a first-time mother cat seems to know exactly what to do. Right away, a newborn kitten suckles milk from their mother. She purrs and nuzzles, and she gets in as close as she can. A newborn kitten is mostly helpless. Its eyelids are closed, its ears are laid back, its tiny kitten cannot see 
or here. It weighs only two to five ounces, and it's only about as long as a pencil. At birth, a kitten can wiggle and squirm, but it cannot walk. Newborns snuggle together for the first week or so. The mother licks her kittens often. She carries them gently but firmly by the scruff of their neck. The mother and the baby soon learn to recognize one another by smell. About eight days after birth, a kitten begins to open its eyes. In less than three weeks, it can see and hear. One-month-old kittens run around and play. It can weigh between 9 ounces and 18 ounces, which is just over one pound. And by the end of its second month, a kitten eats solid food, has stopped nursing, and a four-month-old kitten is completely independent of his mother. Over the last century, people have developed more than 100 different varieties of cats. These are called breeds. A cat can be a purebred or a mixed breed cat. Purebred cats are usually divided into two groups, long-haired cats and short-haired cats. The most popular breed of a long-haired cat is called a Persian, or simply a long hair. A Persian's fur is soft and may grow as long as five inches. It has a sturdy body, a round face, a short nose, round eyes, and short legs. A Persian's fur can be black, white, red, blue, smoky, tortoiseshell, calico, pewter, chocolate, or even different color combinations not listed. Persians are usually quiet, even-tempered cats that makes them ideal for pets with people who love to keep their cats indoors. Other long-haired cats, such as the Angora and the Balinese cat, have slimmer bodies and are more active than Persians. They are gentle, friendly, and playful. A feral cat is a cat that has gone back to being wild. For a feral cat living in a city or a big cat in the wild, having short hair can be an advantage. That's because long hair can get tangled up in things when a cat is stalking its prey. Long hair also gives a cat's enemy something to grab onto. Short-haired cats are far more common in nature than long-haired cats. There are many kinds of purebred short-haired cats, like the British shorthairs, American shorthairs, Siamese, Manxes, and the Abyssinians. The Siamese is a slender cat with blue eyes and really loud meow. The Manx is a tailless breed, and the Abyssinian looks like a cat that his ancient Egyptians had worshipped. Whether your cat is purebred long hair, or short haired, or mixed breed, it can still make a good family.